Hey there ladies and gentlemen and welcome back for another video. I'm your host Pat Sun and today we're going to be taking a look at r slash cheating stories posted by reddit user once bitten twice shy. Watch your so-called best friends. I'm 25 and my girlfriend is 23 at the time. A little over 25 years ago, I found the woman of my dreams. We will call her Mary. We did everything together. She learned to love my passions like scuba diving and fishing. She was beautiful, smart, and funny. After about a year, we moved in together. Life was great. I was thinking about asking her to marry me. Then, she started to act distant. I was getting the Heisman in bed, and she started to want alone time, picking BS fights. Always be mindful of red flags. Even if she tells you, it's not in your head. I started to talk to my best friend Billy every night about what was happening and how I was thinking it was another man and what I was trying to do to find out. After trying for a long time to catch her, I gave up and moved on. I ended up moving to another city about two hours away with a much better job. Then one day out of the blue, Mary reconnects with me. We chat for hours and hours over days and weeks. She comes to visit. It goes well. So she moves in with me and finds a job. Things are going so well, we start to look for a nicer apartment. And again, I was thinking about popping the question. I was in the process of thinning things out, pitching up the junk to make the move easier. She drove up to see her folks, about a two-hour drive. I had to work the next day, so I did not go. I went back to pitching things out. I got to a pile of partially used legal pads and notebooks, flipped through them to make sure I'm not pitching out anything important. I opened a notebook, like the ones in school with a black and white binder. It was Mary's journal. I read it, every single sorted word. I was absolutely crushed. I went into the bathroom and puked. It's been 25 years and I could still feel the pain. I hardly know where to start. She was having a non-stop sexual affair with my best friend, Billy, with every intimate detail you can imagine, right down to our difference in taste. Her and Billy were laughing at me about how he knew every single thing I was doing to catch them. It all falls into place. That is the reason I never caught him. I was telling him my every move to the guy that was screwing my girl. A few months after our breakup, I'm still completely in the dark. I started to notice that Billy was very, very distant. For example, I was not invited to a barbecue held at Billy's house, which I thought was odd, but I went anyway. When I walked in, they acted like they had seen a ghost, and few were bumping their elbows to each other and were chuckling to themselves. I saw Mary there, which was not a shock as we ran with the same crowd. In hindsight, Billy looked uncomfortable, but at the time, I played it off as maybe he thought he forgot to invite me and felt bad. I didn't stay long as the place has a very weird vibe going on. More red flags. In large part, I was ostracized by the people who I thought were my friends. So much so, that I never said goodbye to any of them when I moved. After reading her journals, I made copies. One set for me, one set for Mary's parents, one set for Billy's current wife and his parents, and left a set on top of the pile of her things by the front door. I put a note in, saying, she has 24 hours to pack and leave. Otherwise, I will call the police. My name is on the lease. My phone blew up and I didn't answer. My voicemail was filled with, I love you. You're my best friend. That was in the past. You are the love of my life, etc., etc., and more, etc. At the end of my note on top of her things, it said, I will never be someone's plan B. Fast forward 20 plus years. I'm happily married to a woman that adores me with grown kids. Moral of the story, pay attention to red flags. And remember, Caesar thought that Brutus was his friend. OP. 
your ex and Billy are just plain evil, including all of your so-called friends. They knew what was going on. They knew exactly what those two are doing. And instead of doing the right things by telling you, they hide that fact and ostracized you for it? I'm, I'm honestly speechless, man. Those guys are just pure evil. I'm so glad you gotten rid of them. And you dodged a bullet by not marrying your cheater ex-girlfriend. Telling everyone, including their parents, is a nice touch right before you moved. And now you have your own happy ending. I am so happy for you, OP. Thanks for listening, everyone. If you even somewhat enjoyed today's story, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And if you really like it, make sure to subscribe to Patson to never miss a future upload. Stay strong.